And this day, this day might feel like your darkest, because that's what some of them are like. We've seen the shit that's going on out there, and it is fucked. So be depressed. You've got every right to be. It would not be normal if you weren't. But the question is, when it's going to knock you down, are you going to just lie there, or are you going to get up and throw some stones? We're going to unleash it. Every man can become a beast. Every woman become a warrior. Because the lines are drawn at our feet. we just got to see it. Because we don't believe what's in their eyes. We don't believe it's out of love. We don't believe these fucking lies. We don't believe it because if you give them that inch, they will take it now. I'm based in Victoria Wharf in a work only unit uh, as an artist, I guess, but really as a musician. And, uh, and I've been there for two years and been very much, you know, sort of uh, amazed by a lot of the things that I've been seeing there. The community value, the, the sense of creative and cultural value that's there, that's going out to the wider community. So recently culminated uh, or came to a head when LLDC served eviction notices on that part of the site which is the part that they own and uh, and for a lot of people in Victoria Wharf that suddenly became clear you know and was the sort of like wake up bell um, in which like the community was now threatened with essentially imminent destruction and a, a domino effect that was going to go through the site from that end to the middle and then slowly, as an LDC told me in a meeting, uh, to the site we're sat in, which is called Sour Space. I also think it's quite important to note that, you know, London and this area is a fluid thing, so as the place has evolved, as the situation has evolved, as artists have arrived and done great things here, the uh, concept of what's the best thing for the public interest has changed so it's possible when they set up their plans to build the bridge that might have been the best thing for the public interest when these were just derelict buildings but what's happening now is there's a sort of like center point and hub in this area due to this site and it's uh, pumping out like so much community value and creative value and even in terms of job creation, affordable workspace, education stuff and outreach work, it's, it's amazing what's going on there. So the site was listed in 2013 as an asset of community value, which means if it's lost, it's to the detriment of the community. It was one of the first in London for that to happen. And it's still one of only 10 in Tower Hamlets Borough. Uh, and since the time I've been based here, which is only since 2014, I've seen that community value flourish in so many ways in terms of open door events to the public, both as audience members and abilities to perform. And I've seen people working with locals that haven't had the, the money to do certain things and because of their backgrounds haven't had the options open to them that maybe even the average person might have. And seeing some of the work that people have been doing here, guiding others that haven't got those opportunities and giving them those opportunities has been something that, you know, I'm really proud of. Hi, uh, my name's Ben Wakeling. Um, I've been a tenant here for just about to be seven years. Uh, I'm an artist. I run a life drawing, the Hackney Wick Life Drawing uh, Society for, for, for the local community. Uh, so we get, you know, we help university students that add on to their modules and the local, it brings the local community together. Also an art therapist working in the mental health, uh, NHS mental health. And I'm about to open London's first mental health art gallery, art and music gallery. Um, um, I employ um, like mental health, people that have been in the mental health um, under section and sort of get them in to do life modelling or to draw and um, I, I don't know sort of just to continue that spirit really because it just seems to be either people put up blocks of flats or bridges or I don't know we, we need more art community based stuff we can't just be opening pubs and flats and just you know just add into the plastic culture that is Westfield. I'm here till 2011, so it's quite a long time. Um, I was trained in fashion and also I have a 
degree in environmental sciences. So <laughs> I try to go ethical. Yeah, in, a, in terms of community, I've been mending clothes for all local community. <laughs> um, it's kind of part of my sustainable approach. I've been helping a lot of fashion designers to get up the ground to, um, to develop their collections. Currently I'm working on a project like I'm mm, as a young fashion label who has now the first presentation ever in a fashion week and in a fashion week it's quite, fashion is quite uh, really tough to even get this first presentation so you have to be like a few years already generating few collections so it's really big deal to them and so this collection is a project like from six six months and we're just by getting this notice in the last minute and, and that's actually presentations on 17th of September it's not just obviously I can't finish this project so it's kind of trickles down to to them puts them in a lot of stress so I, I will probably lose m my business <laughs> and and they probably also kind of struggle of and also but just hearing that they even haven't submitted to planning permission so it's actually there's no the planning application so there's even no need because they can't start building works it's just because they can and the impact what it has on our yeah p people who are here like our businesses that's seems kind of unfair really because there's no reason why I couldn't extend the leases and my name is Patricia Rosales I'm a painter I'm 28 years old I've been in Victoria Wharf for over three years and loved this community for that long communities and places like this should be protected and should be fought for you know especially against something so soulless as a corporative bridge <laughs> that people don't need. We're not against all the other plan. like we're not against the school, we're not against maybe the housing. That's fine as long as everyone who's here can still be here and the people who are coming, that's okay. You know, we can all find a way to coexist harmoniously and maybe develop the community truly in a true sense not in a hollow, like imperial corporative point of view that is not engaged in the community at all. Like this is like, yeah, advices from the community. I think they should be heard.